And I think you have to define bad game. He made one of the best throws he's made in his career on third and 13 on the 49ers' third possession when he was under major duress, and he threw it to Ayuk that he dropped. And that might have been one of the best throws he's made in his career. So, you know, I think you have to define he missed some throws that he normally makes, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, one of my guys went through Joe Burrow this week and said he missed eight throws that were routine throws. So now do we want to say Joe Burrow is a fraud? I mean, you have to be careful about how you decide what you're saying about this kind of stuff. We all know what Brock Purdy is and what he isn't as far as a pure thrower of the football. That's all we're talking about here, as a yep. pure thrower of the football. He also made some unbelievably great throws in this game that showed his phenomenal anticipation. Um, he hit Jennings, I believe, uh, um, I think it was 17 yards maybe, um, it w which was an unbelievable throw uh, on, an, on an inbreaker, just phenomenal. The, the anticipation when he threw it, how he understood the defense intuitively, throwing it into an open void. Um, but he missed a few throws that were clearly there. Um, but, and by the way, in the first half of this game, the 49ers went up and down the field like the Browns' defense wasn't there. So yeah. this idea that the Browns' defense just showed you something or dominated the 49ers, the tape did not show that at all. Now, in the second half, they got way behind the sticks for any number of reasons. Penalties, some bad plays, which, you know, which do happen, and, you know, no quarterback, and certainly not Purdy, is going to convert third and 17s and third and 23s. That's yeah. just not going to happen. But <clears throat> this idea that the Browns took it to the 49ers, that's not what the tape showed in the least.